Right, I've done the bins, I've done some tidying up, all I've got to do is the washing, then we can go out. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate washing up. All done. Well, most of it. Leanne and Duncan could do the rest. <coughs> well, on yesterday's vlog, I asked you all to make suggestions of what I should do today. One of them that came in was pretty good. I got a message off this young lady here, Cat Coates, whose boyfriend is celebrating his 30th birthday in Brighton today. And her boyfriend's called Mowgli, and he's my mate from a couple years back in Portsmouth, and I'm going to make a day of it and head down to Brighton. Beverly! Hello. Are you going to come to Brighton with me? Yeah. <laughs> Are we taking the iPad with us? Yeah. Do you think I should take this jacket? <laughs> Right, I've got my clothes, I've got my laptop, I've got my iPhone, we've got the iPad, Bev's got her clothes, we've got our camera equipment, I've got my tripod, I've got my card, I've got money, we can go. I've even got myself a can of Red Bull, which I'm going to give to Bev because she's really nervous about meeting my friends. And you know what? She's got every right to be concerned. They're a bunch of friggin' retards. This is going to be really weird to me because I haven't seen any of these guys for about three years. What's that smell? I smell egg. Who's the thief filling up my diesel? Oh, it's her. Yeah, right, we're motoring along now. We're on the way to Hailing Island first. We're going to stop there so Bev can have a shower at my dad's house. It's not my fault you're a skanky little minge buster. She's not really. There's nothing wrong with her. I've got no idea why she wants a shower. Well, girls. We've been going steady on the M4 for some time now. It looks like all the roadworks have been cleared up. Finally. The masonette is going to wear one of her red dresses tonight, the one she bought in Exeter. We've been driving nearly an hour and a half, we've only just got to the A34. I hope you appreciate this Mowgli tits. So if you're wondering why he's called Mowgli, which I'm sure you are, it's because he looks just like Mowgli from the Jungle Book. Although he looks more like the guy from JLS, it's absolutely uncanny. You should check that stuff out. Just past St Winchester, then Southampton, then Portsmouth to Hailing Island, then we can go off to Brighton and see them all. Oh, Jesus Christ, you know what I've forgotten? I've forgotten to ship those eBay things that sold yesterday. Oh. Babe, I don't want any bad feedback. We're going to have to do this on Monday. We can't forget. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're nearly at my father's now. Just a couple more rows to go to Hayden Island. And you know what? I never know how my videos are going to end. I don't know if we're going to see Carl Stew and all that lot tonight or uh, I'm going to have to finish that before then because I'm not sure how long it's going to take to get there. It's 20 to 4 at the moment. I reckon we won't be there bright until about 7. Woo! I've just had a can of Red Bull which we bought from a service station and I think it's kicked in. <laughs> Sam, stop being a twat. <laughs> Ah, the old island looks really nice today. We're just passing over the bridge. The tide looks like it's going out as well. I'm pretty sure my dad's in. We're only going to stop here quickly. So run in, get changed, put a nice dress on. We'll head out to Brighton. Let's have a look. Yep, he's here all right. There's his car. Oh my God, he's got loads of other cars. Hello, Cranberry. How are you? This is my cat. Hi, Dad! Where is he? Well, Bev's gone upstairs to have a shower. I'm just going to chill out here, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do because I've drunk too much Red Bull on the way down. <whistles> Beverly! That hell's at home. You've made me look underdressed. This is no good. <laughs> Come on, Barbarella. Drink your tea up. Let's go. All done. Sun's still shining. Time to head off. Can't say it's much of a good time to head to Brighton at the moment, though. The traffic is going to be terrible. Yep, it's five to five now and you are really enjoying today's daily vlog, aren't you? Just say so below. Oh, babe, that is a cracking dress for 20 quid. That's a 20 quid. How much was it? 150. What? Holy hell, Christ fire. That's no good. I was wrong. The tide isn't going out. The tide's coming in. So apparently Mowgli doesn't know we're turning up today. I've been in contact with Stu though, and he's letting us know where they are. What did I tell you about traffic? We've got to go through Chichester, then Bognor Regis, then we're going to get to Brighton. It's going to take about two hours from here. 
I've done this drive loads and loads of times. I was commissioned a few years ago to do a book, a photographic book on Brian. I never got round to finishing it because I didn't like the publisher actually. After signing the agreement to do it, I started looking through the publisher's other books of other different places and I thought they were absolutely awful. And I thought, I don't want to be associated with this. So I, I rang them up and I knocked it on the head. And you know that photo Andy shot that won the Royal Photographic Society Prize? Well, that was actually taken in Brighton for that project in particular. Actually, maybe on the way back tomorrow or sometime. Where are we going to sleep tonight? I haven't even decided. No, I don't fancy sleeping in the car again. We could get a hotel or something. The iPad's coming in handy again. We're looking for hotels on it, or bevies. Make sure you get a hotel that's right in the centre of Brighton by the beach. You found all of them, wow. No, babe, 119 quid is too much for a hotel for one night. Ah, this is loads better. We're proper motoring along now. So how's your day going? Highlight of your day watching me drive across England? Any good? Thank God we're nearly there. She's found one. Is. Quite a cheap one as well. I love the sound you get when you go yeah, through a tunnel. We're just outside right now, so... Thump. That's what it's at. The Bevmeister found a nice little place on the seafront that'll do. And we finally made it to Brighton. I can smell the fishy air. And by fishy, I mean sea, not lesbians. I can see the sea. First time to Brighton, isn't it? Yes. Yay! That's West Street there. That's where we're going. That's where Mowgli Stew and Mowgli's girlfriend is up there. We made it here, a place called Beach Hotel on Regency Square, just opposite the West Pier that's burnt down. This will do. Okay. Oh, we're in room 25. We've got loads of rags, look. Right, this promises to be a skank hole, and it is! Oh. Oh. I need a piss! <laughs> Actually, it's not so bad in here, we get a sea view as well, that's very nice. And now I suppose we better go out and meet the gang! I ain't seen them for years, this is going to be so surreal for me. Right, should I go out and just t-shirt like this in Brighton, looking like a gay man? Or should I wear my game show host jacket and look like a raging queen? Raging queen, baby. <laughs> show me your nails. Oh, now he's the raging queen. <laughs> right, that's enough twatting about. We've got to get out. If I'm going to name this video after Mowgli, we might as well see him and get him on the video before it gets dark. <laughs> They're down East Street now. They've moved. Ladies first. I'll tell you what, for my gay following, I'll stick around Brighton tomorrow and show you around. <laughs> and I know full well there's a few bumblebee fuzz buckets watching me because they send me messages, rude ones. Quote, your beard is lovely on your face. I'd love to rub my beard. Well, I'm glad we're out before the sun's completely set and it's seven o'clock, just like I guessed. We look like a pair walking through Brighton, don't we? The Varsity, this is where they are apparently. Oh god, I'm nervous. Oh, it's Danny! Hey Mowgli! Oh, Happy birthday, oh, it's you! Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is a bit overwhelming. I'm going to have to order a treat. Stu, welcome to my vlog! Hey, you finally made it! Carl, the rude bastard, whose birthday is 30th birthday, is head off hell. <laughs> Bloody hell, now Stu's gone, so it's just me and Bev left on our own. We've come this whole way and they've both gone out now. I'm only joking, they've gone to get changed and stuff, and then we're gonna go out clubbing, so I'd better finish my video up here. Sorry, I didn't realise how dark it was in there. I'm gonna come out here and finish it up. I'm a tiny little bit drunk as well. We did chat to Mowgli and Stu for quite a long time though, so it's great. They're all good and it's nice to see everyone. I'll stop being nervous now. I've had four drinks. It's really bad. Oops. That is amazing timing. Mowgli's just got back. Mowgli's here, always. It's day 227 of 365 and it's immense that Mr. Cornwell and his lovely missus has come to see me on my 30th. Oh yes. <laughs> Keep subscribing. <laughs>